Hi, so this is the fourth video in the series on solving angle problems uh, using parallel lines. Okay, um, so the question that we've got is pitched at roundabout level D. Now it's actually valued at five marks, so you've actually got two marks for this question and three marks for this question. So it's a relatively high value question because you might need to add a little bit of explanation to it as well. Okay, so I haven't written this out in entirety, but it basically says find x and give a reason, find y and also give a reason. So if you're a little bit unsure about this, if you please have a look at the introductory video on the playlist. That will give you uh, the four um, things that you need to be aware of when you're dealing with angles. Okay, so this particular one, the first one is find x, so find x degrees. Well, where they make these a little bit harder is that um, it shows you that this line is parallel to this line, but it's not really clear from the word go that it's actually an alternate angle. So actually x is going to be the same as 85 degrees. Now the reason that is, is because you've got two parallel lines. Now one of them is this line here, which is here, and one of them is this line here, which is here. And we've got a line which is D to B that goes across it. Okay, well, if you look at uh, the first video, what it says is if this is 85 degrees, then it also means that this must be 85 degrees as well. So you've got to kind of take that picture and imagine it as the alternate angle. Um, so it's just a little bit of a trick. Maybe you might want to just extend those lines a little bit more. You can, you can do this. And just extend it just so you can see for yourself that actually you've got some teachers call this a Z angle okay a Z angle there so actually X is going to be 85 degrees because it's an alternate okay so that's the answer to question one so what we've worked out from there is that this value of X is 85 degrees okay so the next thing we need to work out is the value of Y well again um, you, you need to sometimes redraw these pictures to make it fairly clear to yourself so I'm going to just do just that so all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this triangle because one of the things we know about a triangle is that the alternate um, angles, not the alternate, the interior angles add up to 85 degree, uh, 180 degrees. So here we've got an angle of 85 degrees. Uh, we're looking to get this one which is Y, but what we don't know is this one at the bottom. However, we do know that part of it is 115 degrees and this is a straight line. So this here is a straight line and I've put that across there. So that will allow us now to calculate the value of this alternate um, interior angle. Okay, so 115 from 180 degrees means that this interior angle is 65 degrees. Okay, so in other words, this one here is 65 degrees degrees. Okay, so now I've got two out of the three angles that I need and the third angle I need to calculate is the one that will answer the question. So I've got 85 here and 65 here. Well if I add those two together I've got 65 plus 85, okay, and however you do that piece of arithmetic it's going to work out at 150. So in other words this plus this is 150 degrees. If I know that the interior angles of the triangle are 180 degrees in total, then it means that this value of y is going to be 180 minus 150, so that's going to be 30 degrees. So y is 30 degrees and that will answer the question except you need to give a couple of reasons because bearing in mind this is a three marker so if I was you I would probably say that this is a straight line and uh, 
the degrees on straight lines 180 degrees and then also I would say that the interior angles of a triangle also add up to 180 degrees that will get you your three marks um, I hope that's been okay for you please do add a comment below I'll always come back to you please also subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video